Five Home Weekly weekend video, and it's Saturday, the 25th of January. Um, we start with gold this morning, a slight variation in the scenario in the sense that uh, we've got the A wave as before, but what I thought was the beginning of the C wave, this thing here, turns out to be a B of, uh, of the B wave. So A, B, and now a C to here to complete B. So it's slightly more respectable, a 50% uh, retracement plus a little bit. Uh, scenario the same, C wave, if it were to equal the A wave, down to around 1500. Um, so overall no change, but I got stopped that amount short and looking to reshort currently. A bit of a variation on silver here, still got the five waves up from the December low. So quite a short term chart, this uh, Ali bars, uh, but possibly complete ABC already. Um, so a bit of a dichotomy there between gold and silver. Uh, again, this the retracement down below 50% on the, uh, the of the previous rally. So it's done what it needs to do really, and this does look quite impulsive. So if we get a five waves up, one, two, three, four, and five, um, that would lead us to suggest that the low is actually in on silver. And of course it could be in on gold as well, but nothing to support that pattern at the moment. Uh, all right, on to Bitcoin. Um, we've still got this uh, wave pattern, well, wave one, two. Uh, I still think this could just be part of three, i.e. one, two. As you can't begin it, because we've actually got the, uh, sorry, this, this four wave's gone too low, it's gone below low one now, uh, here. So um, I guess it's got to be three, but again, it's not a very satisfactory count at the moment. Uh, I think this is four, in that case, A, B, C, four. Uh, again, we could go a little bit lower here because uh, the C wave is slightly shorter than the A wave at the moment. Uh, a bit down near 8,000 would be a slightly better count. Uh, and then the fifth five wave up, that's the best count at the moment. I said there are a few areas where that's not uh, crystal clear. But then uh, we rarely get crystal clear counts. So look at the third wave in a bit more detail. I'll just skip over that, I think. Uh, I mean, there, there are alternatives like this could be a one, a rather feeble two and then a three, or the big four, and then a very nice five wave five, and that does count nicely as a complete wave, one, two, three, four, five. Um, the problem is, of course, that the, this move here is rather equal in length to the combination of uh, one, two, three here, which means it could be an ABC move. So we could have an ABC here, which again looks like it might be as an alternative count, A, B, C, then this A, B, C, B would move, uh, and then this could all be a C move. Um, so that would allow for a false break above the trend channel there, and this would be an, this, this is a, certainly an A, B, C, I think. Um, so that's encouraging, that's a correction, but there are a few question marks. We need to see a decent thrust back up above this line to clear these away. Uh, I mean, certainly positive, but uh, you know, there are these negative interpretations we can can look at. Right, the only chart of Ethereum um, is cleaner. We've got a clearer, clearer one, clearer two, uh, one, two. I think probably that's actually this is all of three, in fact. So that's still one possible count there. This is four of three, and so five of three to come. So it does look definitely more positive than the chart of Bitcoin, um, but does need to do a bit more work to be fully convincing. Right, and Thursday's report on the DAX, I said we're now looking at a major peak here, it's from new all-time highs and fallen back quite sharply. We've got a five-wave form from here, one, two, uh, clear three, a four major there, or it could be down to uh, there instead, and uh, this fifth wave, it's getting a bit messy, but has made new highs, so where's that arrow going to? Uh, Right, since then we've seen a pretty sharp decline, about 250 points, let's go down a little. This is a five minute chart, so since the peak, around the 13640 odd, we've um, got a 1, 2, uh, fairly very impulsive 3, the wave counts a little bit obscure, but certainly impulsive move down, 4 and 5. Of course this also looks fairly impulsive. Um, 78.6% just touched the uh, previous all-time high and then fell back sharply on, on Friday. Um, 
I was expect to see another leg down, certainly. I haven't seen five waves down here. Uh, at some point, move approximately. I would think we're going to see something similar. So I would expect to see the DAX below this level here sometime next week. Uh, and if the acceleration at that point, then obviously we could be going a lot, a lot further down. Right, in comparison, I mean, FTSE saw what looked like an important peak last week, around 7.690, or actually just the week before, I think, it's the end of the week before. Um, this is a clear ABC decline, suggesting just a correction uh, with a very solid bounce back on Friday, suggesting we're going to go up, so we've got a bit of cacophony there as well. And the DAX, meanwhile, is um, seeing a sort of series of ever larger jerks to the upside and downside um, as it tries to make some sense of what's going on in the world, probably, uh, as, as, do, as are we all, I suspect. Um, hard to form any conclusion. It looks like a correction, we've seen these spikes, but uh, uh, either way, really, at the moment. Anyway, that's all today. If I introduce you all back to the report on Tuesday for subscribers. Uh, have a great weekend. Thanks for listening, and bye for now.